Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing a video to walk you through how to create a course load it on your Garmin Instinct so that you can follow the course using your Garmin Instinct. Now first let me start by saying if you've watched my videos before, this one's a little bit probably more complicated than some of the other videos I've done. I'm going to try and make it as easy as possible, but uh, just know that this one's, this one's getting a little bit more complicated than what you usually see on this channel. The other thing let me mention is I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar, non-tactical version of the watch. doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got, this video should work for all of them. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin without any adjustments to any of the hotkeys. So before I get into this, uh, when you get into courses, there's a lot of different things we can talk about. You can create a course on your Garmin Instinct. You can download courses and trails from various websites. You can create a course uh, on the Garmin Connect website. All of that stuff, the one thing I'm focusing on today is going to the Garmin Connect website, creating a course, and then getting it on your watch. To me, that's the easiest way to do it, and that's the more practical way. I know a lot of people like to download courses and then do them themselves. I'm more the type, if I'm going somewhere, I go take a look at the map, create a course, download it to my watch in case I want to do that when I'm going there. The example I'm going to be showing you today is one that I did not too recently, where I took my kid to go show him a college campus, I pulled up the map of the college campus, went ahead and laid out a course of where all we wanted to go, loaded it to my Garmin Instinct, and then we followed that course when we got there. And I'm basically going to replicate, replicate that in this video so you can see how to do it. So first and foremost, let's go to our courses, and I'm going to show you that on my watch, I shouldn't have any courses on here at all. There's a couple of different ways you can go to your courses. The easiest way is you can press the GPS button to go to an activity. You can choose any activity you want. I'm just going to choose walk. And then once you're in there, if you press the menu button, the first thing should be courses. If I choose courses, you'll see that there's none in my menu. I can create a new one. Again, we're not going to be doing that here. The other thing is if you don't want to do it through an activity, you don't have to. When you get to the activity screen, if you go to the bottom, there's an option for navigate. You choose navigate. Courses should be your first option. Again, if I choose that, there's no courses to list. So I just wanted to show you first how we get to courses. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off of my watch. We're going to go to my computer. I'm going to try and show you my Garmin Connect account. We're going to build a course and then we're going to get it on our watch so we can do the course. Okay, so now I'm on my computer. The first thing we're going to want to do is log into our Garmin Connect account. That website is connect.garmin.com. And once you log in, you're going to see a different view. Every user can set up this page right here any way they want to. So what you're seeing on mine might be different than what you're seeing on yours. However, on the left-hand side, this information is going to be the same for all of us. To build a course, you'll notice in the middle I've got a tile here where I can create a course. You might not see that on yours, but if you go under training over here, the third option down should be courses. We're going to click on courses. Now in my case, you'll notice that there's no courses. I can click on favorites to see my favorite courses, or I can click on nearby courses to see nearby courses that are already on the map for the given area that I'm looking at. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to create a new course. We're gonna do that from scratch. Now I've got a couple of different options in here. I can do road cycling, mountain biking, gravel uh, cycling, other. You'll notice that walking isn't in here. It really doesn't matter what you choose here. When you build this course, you can go do this course in any activity on your Garmin Instinct watch. So even though walking isn't here, if I'm planning on doing a walking activity, I can choose any of these or I can just choose other and I can go on my Garmin Instinct, do a walk activity and do this course. The drawing method is you can do custom or you can do round trip. Round trip would be whatever I draw, it's gonna automatically build a trip back off of that course. I'm gonna just do custom. Now we're ready to start building our course. So the first thing I would do is I would go to the location that you're looking to build a course. So in my case, I just know the zip code. If you know the actual address, that's fine. If you're using your, uh, if you're allowing your browser to use your location, it should automatically put you into your current location. So first things first, I mentioned before, I did this before when I took my kid to tour a university campus. That university was Texas State University. If there's any Bobcats out there watching this video, a big welcome from a fellow Bobcat as well. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at a map of the Texas State campus. Now I've got a couple of different options for building my course. Follow roads or freehand. Follow roads means no matter what I click, it's going to make the route have to go on a road. So let me go in a little bit and let's say, for example, I start here. 
and I want to walk over here. Did you notice the way it built it? It, it basically built it around this way because that's the only road that gets me to that point. That's what follow roads does. I'm going to undo it. Now this time I'm going to do freehand instead. Freehand takes me straight there. It doesn't care if you're going on a road or not. It's going to build the course based on the way you click. So that's the way I would prefer to do it. Again, it kind of depends on what you're doing. Obviously, if you're doing a cycling course, you would probably want to stick to road. If you're hiking or something like that, you can, you can get away with getting off of the roads, I guess. So I've created my starting point. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to go anywhere we want to to build our course. So I'm going to start there. And let's say, I don't know. Let's say then we want to go here. Then we want to go here. All I'm doing is clicking along the way. You'll notice as I'm clicking over on the left hand side, it's calculating my distance. It's also calculating the elevation changes for me. Um, so let's see. Let's go here, here, here. And then back to here. That's the course that we've built. I can change the view of my map. So if I want to see the satellite view, that's what the satellite looks like. Or I can go back to the map itself. The other thing, there's a couple of different options you can do over here. You can loop back to your start. You can reverse the direction. So if I want to have the start point be here and the end point be here, I can do that. Or I can flip flop them. I can add a course waypoint. So let's say along the course, if I want to do uh, a waypoint and I can change it. So maybe I want to do a water break here or I want to, uh, I don't know, start sprinting here, whatever you want to do, you can build it into your course and you can change it to whatever. Let's see, let's do something more realistic. Let's do first aid or let's, let's do uh, food. And I'll just put a uh, eat protein bar. So now I've created that on my course. The other thing is we can again see the distance, see the elevation changes. And now we've successfully drawn out our course. Once we're done, uh, there's a couple different options. You can make it public, which means other people who are going out there looking for courses will be able to find this, or you can leave it private to where you're the only one who can see it. It's also untitled. If I click right here, I can name it. So let's put Texas State. University tour, and then I'm going to save my new course. So now when I look at my courses, we can see it says zero of one course is currently displayed. If I do show everything, Texas State is one of them. And if I click on that, it'll bring up my course. Now I've successfully created my course in my Garmin Connect account. We've got a couple of different ways we can get it to my watch. I can do send to device. If I do that, You'll notice it brings up my device. The only device I've got is a Instinct Solar. In the event that you had multiple Garmin devices, you would see them all here and you could choose which one you'd want to send it to. I can click send a device. I can also automatically launch Garmin Express. Now, if you choose this, it's going to build up Garmin. It's going to load up the Garmin Express uh, software on your computer and it's going to ask you to plug in your Garmin Instinct. You can do that. What I would recommend is not checking that and just click send a device. What's going to happen is the next time we go on our phone and we sync our Garmin, that course will be in there. And I'm going to show you that in the video. So now that we successfully built our course, let's go to our cell phone. Let's sync our Garmin Connect account. And then we'll go look at the watch and see whether or not the course is there. Okay, so now I'm on my cell phone. All we're going to do now is open up the Garmin Connect app. And as always, when you open this up, if you've got it set to automatically sync to your watch, you should start to see it start pulling in any kind of information that needs to be updated. The Garmin Connect website and the Garmin Connect app are basically the same thing. It's just a different view of the information. So whatever's on the Garmin Connect website that you've put in or on the app, you should see it in both places. We've successfully uh, sync our information. If you look at the very bottom, there's three dots that say more. If we click on that, and then we go to training, and then courses, you'll notice under my courses, 
we can see the course that we just created, Texas State University Tour. So I know it's in my Garmin Connect uh, app, and I know it supposedly is synced to my watch. So now we're gonna go to my watch and we're gonna see if it's available on my watch. Okay, so now we're back on the watch and we're gonna basically do the same thing we did when we started this video. We're gonna to navigate to our courses and see if the course that we just built in the Garmin Connect website is available on our watch. So again, you can get to this a couple different ways. I'm gonna press the GPS button. I can do it through any of the activities that are saved on my watch, or I can just go to navigate, choose navigate, choose courses. And whereas before there was no courses there, we can see the one that we just created is available on the watch for me to do. I'm gonna choose that course. We can do the course. We can look at the map of the course. The map on the Garmin Instinct watch is a little bit tricky. I did a video in the past where I walk you through how to navigate the map, move it around a little bit on the watch. You might want to view, uh, review that. I'm not gonna go through it in this video. This video has already been complicated enough. We can do the course in reverse. We can look at the elevation plot of the course. We can look at the name of it. We can edit it and we can de delete it. But anyway, that's how we successfully build a course in the Garmin Connect website and get it to our watch so we can do the course. You can do the same thing in the app. You can also download and load courses from other sites. I'm not gonna go through all that in this video. Maybe I'll do a video in the future to show you how to do some of that stuff. As always, I appreciate you watching. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. I'd be happy to help you out. Enjoy your course. Get out and enjoy using your Garmin Instinct watch. Thanks for watching.